Good day. Welcome to another day of mobility with the five pillar method. We'll start by finding a nice comfy spot, flat on your back, taking some attention to your breath. On your next exhale, just imagine letting go of any stress as you let go of that air. Letting your whole body go limp and immensely go into your happy place. And let's aim to settle into a nice rhythm and depth of breath that helps you relax. When we slow that breath down, that tends to help us reach a nice relaxed state of mind. And that tends to open us up for much better results for mobility work. Today's routine, we're focusing on the shoulders and the knees. So we'll take a few targeted breaths, aim to relax around those knees on the next exhale, letting those quads get nice and soft, relaxing through the hamstrings, and feeling your knees sink heavy into your mat. And on your next breath, we'll take our attention to the upper body. Imagine those pecs just slowly deflating like a balloon, slowly running out of air. And the lats just getting nice and soft. Your delts going to sleep. Your traps letting go of any tension. And mentally going to your happy place. Take one more breath here. And as you sigh with that breath, we'll start today's routine on the left bicep. So let's go face down on that bicep of your left arm. Let's start by panning through that bicep, searching for where you're carrying tension. The bicep is one of those muscles that can restrict us in an overhead. And if you find yourself in that category, Feel free to move your arm into an overhead while we're working on that bicep. And just do some searching, looking for what needs attention through that bicep. And once you've found a spot, let's settle in, experiment with how we're applying that pressure through the lacrosse ball and how much tension we're applying and as always, we want to get into a position and a pressure that allows that tissue to settle down without getting into pain and without any other tissues around the body tensing up. So find that happy amount of pressure that helps that bicep slowly start to fall asleep. And every chance we get circling back to your breath, Let's take one more good quality breath here. And as you sigh with that breath, we'll switch to the right side. So let's pan through that right bicep. You may find it's tense in the same spot. You may find it's completely different. Search for what needs attention on this side. And then settle into the right amount of pressure, the right stimulus, and then circle back to your breath. Settling into that pace of breath that helps you relax. That depth of breath that helps you relax. Directing that air deep into your diaphragm and slowly letting it go through your nose. Again, settling into the right pressure that just feels right for today. We don't need to overdo it. Just settle into the right amount that helps you feel that tissue start to settle down and soften and open up for better movement. Let's take one more breath here. We'll slowly sigh out that breath. And we'll take our attention to the left trap. 
So we'll be focusing on the upper trap today. You'll find yourself a door frame or a ledge. Sit that lacrosse ball on the trap area. And this is another muscle that can restrict us when we're overhead. So moving your arm through an overhead range can help us free up that tissue in the position of restriction. And once you've settled into your right position, experiment with the pressure. Just settle into whatever feels right. Every chance we get circling back to your breath, as you let go of that air, imagine that trap just letting go of tension. And let's aim to get good quality breaths every chance we get, directing that air deep. And slowly letting it go in the exhale. Take one more breath here. We'll slowly sigh out that breath. And we'll transition into the right trap. So pan through that right trap. Maybe tense in the same spot or a similar spot. Or it may have a different spot altogether. Just do your search. Everyone's going to be a little different here. As always, use the video as a guide and use your body's feedback to fine tune. And once you're in your position, it's going to work for you today. Concentrating on getting as passive as you can through that target tissue, through your mind, through your face, and through any muscle we don't need right now. Focusing on that nice, relaxing rhythm of your breath. Just feeling any stress or tension around your body just float away as you work your way through this routine. Let's take one more breath here. And as you sigh out that breath, We'll transition into left first rib. So at your door frame, just sitting there for cross ball in that pocket. And for most people, the cross ball sits right in that pocket above your collarbone. If it doesn't fit your structure and shape and anatomy, feel free to just use your fingers. And then settle into the right amount of pressure this tends to be an area that also restricts overhead. So moving your arm into an overhead while we work on that first rib area can be really effective. And then really pay attention to how your body's responding. Settle into that right amount of pressure that helps that whole shoulder area settle down and free itself up for better movement. Again, focusing on good quality breaths, directing that air down around your belly button, and slowly letting it go through the nose. Let's take one more breath here, and we'll slowly sigh out that breath, and we'll switch to the right side. Find that pocket, it sits above the collarbone on the right side. And again, it can be helpful to move your arm into an overhead position. And experiment with that pressure. This program is meant to be progressive. So we do want to go a tiny bit more aggressive 
each routine, each time we see an exercise if possible, as long as we're not getting into pain. Find that right level of tension and pressure in that first rib area that helps that tissue settle down and just what feels right for today. And every chance we get circling back to your breath and relaxing through every tissue that may be tense that doesn't need to be. There are a few that we need for this position but try to relax through as many muscles as possible right now. And we'll take one more good quality diaphragmatic breath here. And as you sigh out that breath, we'll transition into a left shoulder traction exercise. So there are a few variations of shoulder traction and people's response tends to vary quite a bit. We're going to demonstrate the child's pose version. This is accessible to most people. So in a bowing position, just lock your left wrist into place, losing your right hand, and then gently lean back in the opposite direction. And all we're looking for here is a subtle release of pressure in around the joint. If we're getting into any pain or feelings of instability, we're going way too intense. Just back off on that tension find the right level of stimulus that your body's telling you it needs today. And getting as passive as you can in around that shoulder joint. Let's take one more good quality breath. And we'll sigh it out and switch sides. So let's lock that right wrist into place using your left arm and gently lean to the opposite side. Get that gentle pull in around the socket and always being mindful of how your body's responding. All we want is that subtle level of pressure release in and around the joint. So relaxing through your posterior delt, around your armpit, around your pecs. Just imagine your shoulder joint going to sleep. Again, getting as passive as you can throughout your whole body. And we'll take one more breath here. We'll sigh out that breath. And we'll transition into a hands cuffs. And we're going to do this from a kneeling position. If your knees are okay with it, just kneel your hips right down onto your ankles with your toes pointed. And we'll start with your hands behind your head. Extend your arms out into a Y. Slowly reach your arms out behind you. Trying to get your hands as close together as possible. Finishing by trying to bring your palms together behind your back. And this will be done at your own pace. Once you're there, reversing the direction. And try your best to make your shoulders work at every position. Generally, the harder the shoulders work here, the better response we get better results we get. Again, being conscious not to get into any level of pain. Let's work our way through this last rep with some good tension and pressure, making those shoulders work. And we'll sigh out that breath, shift our attention into the left quad. So we're going to work on that left lower quad area with the lacrosse ball, going face down, may find tension around that vastus medialis, that teardrop muscle on the inside. It might be tight just above your kneecap. It might be on the outside. Just do your searching. Search for what needs attention for you. Concentrate on getting passive. Letting your tissue just slowly morph itself around that lacrosse ball. Submitting to the stimulus. mentally staying nice and relaxed. It can be helpful sometimes to get some movement around the knee to aid in this release. Just pull your heel up towards your butt.
And if the knee's not feeling great when we do that, then don't feel pressure to do that. It's just an option. And settle into that right amount of pressure that feels right for today. Take one more good quality breath, directing that air deep. We'll slowly sigh out that breath and switch to the right side. So pan through that right lower quad. Search for what needs attention here. Might be along the outside, or the middle, or the inside of that quad. Everyone will be a little different. Search for what needs attention for you today and then settle into that stimulus. Concentrate on finding a nice relaxed headspace. And again, getting some motion around the knee can aid in this exercise. Just gently pulling your heel up towards your butt. And if that adds any discomfort or pain, don't feel pressured to do that. It's just there for you. Settle into whatever version of this exercise feels right for your body today. And the only one who's going to know that is you. The goal of this program is to get as connected to your body as possible. Keep experimenting. Keep trying different versions of this until you find what feels right for you. Let's take one more breath here. We'll sigh out that breath. And we'll move into a single leg saddle for your left side. So start by pulling that heel up towards your butt from a seated position. And if the upright seated position is enough of a stretch for today, feel free to stop right there. If you're feeling more mobile today, you can gently lean back. Going back all the way to your elbows if you have the range, or all the way flat on your back if you're really mobile. Just being conscious of not getting into any pain here. We want to work through our pain-free range of motion. We really just want to stretch through that thigh, a little bit through that hip flexor. So feel out what feels right for you. And in 10 seconds, we'll gently get active by attempting to reverse the stretch by pressing your left foot into the floor or into your palm if you're holding your ankle. And let's go ahead, starting with nice, easy tension, attempting to slowly reverse the stretch, ramping up tension as we go. Really giving a good squeeze for these last five, three, two, one. Let's gently reverse, attempting to pull your heel closer to your butt ramping up that tension as we go giving a good squeeze for these last five three two one big breath out relax get nice and passive through that quad through your hip flexor settle back into whatever level of stretch feels right focusing back on your breath Take one more good quality breath here. You can sigh out that breath. We'll switch to the right side. So again, from seated, pulling your right heel up towards your right butt cheek in a seated position. And if just sitting upright in this position feels intense enough for the stretch, feel free to hang out right here. If you've got extra range, feel free to lean back onto your elbows. We're all the way flat onto your back. As long as we're still working within your pain-free range. And concentrating on getting as passive as we can in the position, in the target area, and any muscle we don't need to hold this position. In 10 seconds, we'll gently get active by attempting to reverse the stretch, activating those quads, pressing into the floor. And let's go ahead, starting with nice, easy tension. 
activating through that quadricep, ramping up tension as we go, really squeezing, pressing down, finish these last five, three, two, one, let's gently reverse, activating through the hamstring, the back side of those thighs, to pulling that heel up towards your butt, really squeezing, ramping up tension as we go. Big tension here for these last five. Three, two, one. Big breath out, relax. Get nice and passive. Settle into whatever level of stretch feels right for today. Concentrate on that breath. Mentally going to your happy place. Turning off any muscle that isn't essential right now. And we'll take one more breath here. As you sigh with that breath, we'll call it a day. Thanks for joining us here for some five pillar mobility. Hope your shoulders and knees are feeling great. Hope you enjoyed the session. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe and like. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.